good discipline and letting daylight to beat out of him when he was about six years old in the testimony I've heard today going way back that far. They sat in court all day listening to Peter Cantu's life as a boy. The enlarged pictures of Elizabeth Benya and Jennifer Erdman are propped up next to the defendant. The pictures of the five co-defendants charged with the brutal murders are there too. Witness after witness testified about their violent encounters with Peter Cantu as a boy of 11 or 12. Diana Barrera Mutlet, principal at Hamilton Middle School, told the jury at one point Cantu threatened to kill an HISD police officer. Cantu was expelled and transferred to other schools several times. The trial is difficult for most anyone who has listened to the testimony, even those assumed to be detached. It's tough for me because I've had to live with it just about as long as it's, it's been going on. And, you know, I'm a, I'm a father. I have kids. You know, I have, a, I have a son, 15, and I have a little girl named Jennifer. And, uh, you know, I think about my kids every time I think about this case. Nothing could be more painful than for the victim's parents and for Robert Carrero, whose seven-year-old daughter, Canara, was murdered in 1992 in a double slaying that has yet to be solved. Nobody knows better than, than somebody that's been there. Andy and I, uh, Randy and I just, just, you know, had dinner together and just, just for comfort and knowing just, just knowing. You know, n nothing really has to be said, really. Just, just knowing. I'm Elma Barrera, 13 Eyewitness News. U.S. Senator Kay Bailey Hutchison returns to court tomorrow morning on criminal...